Hey you guys, welcome to the Kaizen Project where I share with you my tried and tested learning strategies so that you can learn new skills in a more efficient and fun manner. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can learn any new skill and I'm going to use examples from the skill that I've been working on for the past one month, which is guitar and singing. The first strategy that you can use to learn any new skill is to break that skill down into its sub skills. To give you the example of guitar, I took the skill of guitar and broke it down into three sub skills. So on a day to day basis, I would spend 10 to 20 minutes practicing these three sub skills on their own. I would work on scales, I would work on strumming, and I would work on chords. And I would practice these skills. And what I found was that practicing these three sub skills individually allowed me to make progress a lot quicker than just trying to haphazardly go about learning the guitar. So having a structure, having a system and using that helps you to accelerate your growth. The second strategy that you can use to learn any new skill, and this might seem obvious, is to seek out a coach or find an online course or anywhere where you can have a structured learning experience. The reason for this is when you have someone that you're learning from, you're able to get instant feedback on your mistakes and then correct them. And this is something that is very hard to do when you're learning a skill all on your own. So I'll give you an example from singing here. I sought out a coach and I did two one hour, one on one sessions. Sare, sare. Sare, sare. Sare, sare. Sare, sare. And I found those to be really helpful because we worked on the foundation. The third strategy that you can use to learn any new skill is to find out what foundational components there are for that skill and if you can work on them on your own time. Again, I'll give you an example of singing. Now I know that part of being a good singer is to have a strong breathing technique because your voice is supported by your breath. If your breath is shallow, you're not able to hit the notes that you need to hit and you won't be able to hold the notes for as long as you need to. Diaphragmatic breathing is something that I worked on for the past few years as a precursor to learning the skill of singing. And you can use this strategy and apply it to anything that you're learning. For example, if you're looking to be a better coder or a better programmer, then one of the skills that I would work on in that instance is to be a better typer because that's something which is a foundational technique that's going to help you be a better coder and a better programmer in the long run. So to recap that video, the three strategies that you can use to learn any new skill is first, break that skill down into its sub skills and practice those. The second strategy is to find a coach or, or a course wherever you can have a structured learning experience. And the third strategy to use is to work on the foundational components on your own time to prepare you to learning the skill in a more fast and effective manner. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, it's the Kaiser Man signing out.